Ah, yes, the polar vortex, scary words, right, that we hear about all winter long, and it usually means the coldest air of the season that's coming into Canada. Well, this is no shock because it's a collection of cold air that's kind of spiraling at the North Pole for much of the winter season because the Earth is tilted away from the sun, so the cold air can just kind of enhance itself and stay cold. Uh, but once in a while, and it's stronger in the winter than it is in the spring and summer, once in a while some of that can get dislodged by air masses moving into other regions of the globe. For example, the polar vortex has taken a slight shift into Europe for the month of March. And what that has done is unleash some of that cold air back into Canada as we get into April. So if we take a look way, way up in the atmosphere at about 30 kilometers in altitude, throughout the winter it was quite strong, January, February, with lots of cold air outbreaks and then into March it kind of weakened it relaxed but notice the yellow that's the forecast into April and what that means is plenty of Arctic air available to invade particularly across the Great Lakes and east of the Rockies we'll be watching those temperatures closely